I'm so excited. I just bought this windbreaker. This is my Florida windbreaker. It's Wu Wear. Yeah, it's Wu Tang. Some early 90s shit, right? This guy knows what I'm talking about. Sleeve tattoos, neither are a mistake. Both were a good idea. You look like you don't own a skate shop, but you're there a lot. It's kind of his look. I go skating every Monday. You go skating every Monday? That's a weird older person thing to say. I've never met a skater who's like, I skate on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. And I love it, it's my me time. I make some time for myself. I go to the skate park. I don't leer at the young female skaters at all. I have a wonderful woman at home that I return home to and she says, did you wear your helmet? And I say, of course I did. Was that? That's so him. Yeah, I know. Very disparate sort of crowd that came tonight. I cannot begin to explain how different she is from you, from them, from Bagger Vance, from Skate Guy, from holding hands the entire time during the show, which I love. Just a feral silver fox with just a fat dick. Has anyone ever told you that? That's what I see when I look at you, a fat dick. Just a P-H-A-T, F-A-T, call it what you want, that dick is fat. And that's, listen, listen to me, listen, listen to me. When his dick comes out, no one is like, that's a chubby dick. That is a fat, thick dick. That thing, when it pops through the fly, no one knows if you can get it back in there. Sometimes you gotta cut his pants off. With scissors, you gotta cut his fucking denim jeans off. This is so fun. Everyone here is like waiting for their turn. This couple is like, no, don't do this. Don't make it to us. This is not what we came here for. We are attractive and wealthy and got in a fight on the way over here. That's what's going on there. But just the fattest dick. Just <laughs> So excited, yeah, so much going on. Even that, is that a Patagonia vest? Ugh. Just a fucking obese cock. Just <laughs> yeah. I can't do that for the rest of the show, okay? I'm going to. But I realized I work here about two months out of the year in Florida, which is more than you guys work in Florida. <laughs> Gotta get to the half pipe, dude. <laughs> Gotta get there, get some birds, bro. All of your way to the bathroom, man. Mondays! I got a serious case of the Mondays! Don't talk to me until I replace my trucks, bro! <laughs> And that is the extent of skateboarding vocabulary I have any knowledge of. Is he a, is he a good skater? Is he amazing? Is that kind of how you, he got it going with you? Not entirely, but... But, it's, was it sexy to see a guy who's good on the skateboard? It was a turn on. Did you see him on half pipe? No. Yeah, okay. Skating rink. Skating rink. <laughs> mm. It's the, the, the homosexuality of skating. Is it a skate rink? And so, but that's, it was pretty sexy. It was a turn on. Yeah? It was. Do you think it's much, as much of a turn on as uh, if he was to have a a fat, fat dick. <laughs> a 
Yes, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. This is my favorite show in the world. What? What's that? He has, he, he has big dick energy? Okay, that's the worst thing you can say. That was terrible. That's the worst thing she could have said. Uh uh, he doesn't have a bad dick, but he has big dick energy. That's like being like, he doesn't have a sports car, but he can draw one. <laughs> I thought, honestly, I thought that was like 500 times funnier than you guys gave it credit for. It was so quick for me to figure that out so quickly. Look at, here he comes with that big dick energy. Uh-oh. I want you to know that she told everybody that you have uh, a certain energy that is not backed up by anything. Behind it. Well, this is my first time seeing a skateboarder with a smartwatch, so this is really exciting. He kinda, he kinda, hey, he kinda trailed off there for a second. He just went like this. He was like, I swear. I looked over to him, he was like. And I just want to know what's going on in that head of yours, but I, I don't need to ask, because we all know what's going on. I'll tell you exactly what he was thinking in his mind. He sort of went, God, that's such a bad, bad dick. What did I do to deserve such a corpulent cock? But you say, what did I do? His wife goes, what did I do? I'll tell you what you did. You did something that the Jewish religion doesn't encourage in women. You gave him fellatio once. I'm not talking to you. You don't have a fat dick. The guy behind you has a very fat dick, okay? He has a big, fat dick that she loves, but sometimes is like, how did I get this? How did this happen to me? What, what past life full of beautiful karma did I have to deserve this man who looks stunning in a Patagonia vest? has gorgeous gray hair, silver fox, and has the goddamn fattest dick I have ever even imagined. Sometimes, sometimes, listen, sometimes, late at night, he goes to sleep, and he says, are you coming to bed, honey? And she says, yeah, in just a little bit. And he's like, you're not watching videos down there, are you? And she's like, no, 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 I'll be right up. And then she sits in for hours. She clicks through pornographic videos, trying to find another man with this fat of a dick. And there aren't any. And again, she returns to bed being like, how did this happen? So I went up, so I went up, I went up, uh, and it's not just energy. It's not just energy. He's backing that up. This is so fun. Everyone here is like waiting for their turn. This couple is like, no, don't do this. Don't make it to us. This is not what we came here for. We are attractive and wealthy and got in a fight on the way over here. That's what's going on there. Bro, my New Year's resolution is to say bro more, but are you okay? You're doing all right. Is he not very emotionally demonstrative? He's not very emotionally expressive? Sort of, not really? Okay. Do you, I rarely ask this, do you speak English? You do. Why is that funny? We're in fucking Florida. So I, Today I asked a girl what language she was speaking. She goes, Dominican. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's not a language. <laughs> um, are you having an okay time? Do you drink alcohol? You don't drink alcohol. That's, so that's, we figured it out. Okay. 
Because I was going to buy you a drink because I felt like you're, you know, but you don't drink alcohol. Did you have an alcohol problem? You didn't. You didn't? So you just decided not to? You don't, no, I know. I understand you say you don't drink at all. I'm saying you didn't have an alcohol problem, but you still decided not to drink. Are you familiar with reality at all? <laughs> Is it religious? Is there a religious reason? You don't. You just never, did you ever try it? You did. And it just wasn't for you. You kind of were like, I don't like feeling better. <laughs> Is that? Is that what happened? You're like, this isn't for me. I prefer to stay in sort of a constant state of panic and fear <laughs> about the impending doom that is my own death and the lonely state of passing away with or without love in my life. You just decided it was a no-go. You know, do you smoke marijuana? Didn't do it. Are you straight edge? Yeah. Do you get high on life? Yeah. Can we, can we get him out of here? Let's get that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was the first time someone's been kicked out for being too sober. I can't. There's leprosy here in Central Florida. Did you know that? Leprosy. Leprosy. It's a disease from the Middle Ages. It's, it's over. It, it happened, and, and then they took the lepers, and they made them go to a colony on an island, and then they died, and there was no more leprosy until in Central Florida, you guys are like, we're bringing it back. And I said, how did it even happen? And then someone backstage goes, well, it's armadillos. And I was like, what? Like, if you come into contact with an armadillo, you can contract leprosy. I'm like, who the fuck is coming into contact with an armadillo? Why is anyone touching or interacting with an armadillo? But that's your guys' deal. You know? <laughs> so I never got it. I never understood why you would live here. I said, why, why do you live here? Silence. And then one guy in the back goes, shorts. <laughs> That's it. Shorts. So I didn't under, you know, I didn't understand it. And I was making fun of, because I make fun, I mean, I think New York is ridiculous, but I, I kind of, So, this guy came up to me in Naples, Florida after the show, and he goes, you don't know why we all live here? And I said, no, that's what I was asking. He goes, well, have you been to the beach? And it was weird because the way he said it kind of felt like he was like, wanna go to the beach together? <laughs> but that wasn't what he was saying. He goes, have you ever been to the beach in Florida? And I realized, I said, no, I haven't. I've never been to the beach in Florida. He goes, well, you gotta go to the beach. And then he left and I never saw him again, like some sort of apparition. <laughs> and so I went to the beach, you guys, and it was white sand. It was blue skies, not a cloud in the sky, perfect temperature, the sun beating down, but just enough to keep you warm as you go into the sand and there were mildly obese people floating in the ocean, <laughs> drunk off of twisted tea and koozies that attached to their wrists at 9.30 a.m. with no judgment whatsoever. And I walked into the water and it was the perfect temperature. It was warm and it opened around me like silk or satin. And suddenly, I got it, I understood. Did they really need to indict him? You know what I'm saying? Did he really do anything that bad? He just stole some stuff from work after he got fired, right? And were they really storming? Does that make sense? It felt like they just wanted to see the inside of the Capitol. You know, everybody wants to. That's why they have tours. They were just on an unguided tour. Yeah, it's funny. I did that joke in uh, New York. And they're like, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> And I did it in Washington, D.C. And they're like, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> and I do it down here in Dania Beach. You guys are like, leprosy. 
What is leprosy? <laughs> <laughs>